Well guys, it's very windy today, it's raining. I'm at my usual spot over here with my family. There's my little wee bed spot, my missus. Now, I found some crazy things here. I just got here and I got a pack of nappies that is just left on the side here. It's been opened, but obviously maybe it fell off the, the bridge above us because there is a road running over. And then over there, I see a bouquet of flowers. So I'm not sure as to what happened here recently. And this is by the Salt Marina here in Northern Ireland. Um, this could be a very sad story behind it. I'm going to let my missus read it out. What does it say? Okay, what we'll do is we'll just go there. It's quite muddy here as well. I want to throw a magnet in just now, but I just want to see here. It says here, Tammy, you will be forever loved, never forgotten, and will always remain in our hearts. Sadly missed by your loving wife, Yvonne, Soares, and Ronan, and daughter Claire. Well, rest in peace. Shane, that's very, very sad. Extremely sad. That I have to see this by my spot where I make the fish. May she rest in peace and may the family find closure to whatever happened to her. Okay, guys, so this is another magnet adventure with myself, Travis, and stay tuned. It's quite windy, but let's see what we find. Cheers. Look at me, I'm looking like an Eskimo here, all tied up and warm. I had my first cast, I got a little hook there, and I got a little coin. My second cast, I'm just bringing in some stuff over here. I've got a pair of scissors. Let's try and get that off. A tweezers. A pair of tweezers by the looks of things. Sit in pretty good shape. So I can still take my ingrown hairs out of my bum. That's, that's a good thing. And then over here, I've got some fishing wire. I mean, fishing line, but there's a little hook on the other side of it. Can you see there's a little weight there? I got a nail. He has a piece of uh, metal. I got a nail over here. And then I got another coin, guys. So I got a total of 3p at the moment. Here's another 2p coin. I'll soon have enough for a loaf of bread today. Um, and that's about it. A lot of magnetic stones and a wee bottle cap, Corona. Got something on the end here, it's a bit of a weight. Oh, it's probably from the bridge, it's a big bolt. As you can see there, a big bolt. And then a whole bunch of magnetic stones. Nearly casted that right onto the motorway above the bridge as you could see my son is falling asleep in my wife's arms and he got splattered with a whole bunch of soot from the river. That's a crazy throw by the way but I'm so glad it didn't get stuck to the metal bridge because I would have never got it down. So let's see what we get on this road. The water level has dropped here which is a good thing. I prefer to fish, to magnet fish in shallow water, not too much of deep water. Because if you ever get snagged and you need to go and retrieve your magnet, you can always do so in a shallower circumstance. that we've had it's washed quite a few things down river. Oh I can see something beautiful. Looks like a lure maybe. Let's have a look. A full magnet and it is a expensive lure we've got there and some and some rifle rounds by the looks of things. We've got ammunition here guys. We have got ammunition. That is incredible. So where is the gun at? This is a beautiful lure look at that. 
these things probably go for at least five ten pounds it's called a fox so if you know anything about this lure let me know in the comments and then we have rifle rounds here guys these look like 303 rifle rounds again we've got two of them unfired rifle rounds what is a day magnet fishing without finding ammunition you tell me and I've got a nice chunk of metal over here another nail so if you guys need cabins or you need fences put up just let me know and I shall sort you out well guys that's insane I haven't even been here for five minutes excuse the little spot on my head there I just woke up this morning and there was a big volcanic eruption it just exploded all over my mirror when I washed my face I'm sorry that you have to see this on live uh, video here but besides the point I've just been here five minutes magnet fishing with my beast mag there's it over there 2800 kg pull horse by magnetar magnets and I found some ammunition so I'm gonna have to call the PSNR for this one let's just have a look at my phone so far can you see that? Oh, sorry, let me just move my big hand out the way. There's a beautiful fishing lure. And then there's, of course, these beautiful 303 rifle rounds. Unfired, too. Deadly, deadly weapon. This must be the, the weapon must be lurking somewhere. I'm going to find a bolt, a couple of bottle caps, the tweezers, of course, a piece of metal over there, and a few nails. Well, guys, stay tuned for more. Because this looks like it's going to be a very, very interesting day. Sometimes the bits of metal is just too heavy and it just pulls the magnet, just pulls away from it. But we've got something on here, I can feel it, but it could be a lot of magnetic rocks. We get that on nearly every cast that we throw in. There must be little bits of lead in the stones. But as you can see, it's broken for something. I was snagged onto something. Bits of metal. It looks to be. It looks to be like a crowbar. This looks to be like another crowbar. I've got one of these before. And I've got a. Let me just take that off the magnet, so I can show you guys nicely. That looks like a like a crowbar and then I've got this piece of pole over here okay this this throw over here guys is called the loopity loop throw it's by HD Magneteers so if you want to get started and learn this throw he has it right here he has a detailed demonstration the loopity loop just to flick up into the air just like that so that's like a trademark for an HG magnet here yeah, stay tuned Let's see what I've got. And I've got 
got a fishing bait box as you can see over here it's quite corroded but it's a fishing bait box so what the fishermen do is they put bait in there for instance some fish or sardine or anything bread and it attracts the fish to their lure and then they attach onto the lure or even onto the hook that's hanging beside the bait box then i've got a whole bunch of these magnetic stones in the going down you can see the bubbles hopefully we can get something from there and bring it in nice and slow like I said the water level has dropped so it does make magnet fishing a bit easier for some I see something floating over there underneath the bridge there can you see it just over there you just look to the right hand side there I wonder yeah, what in a bag there. like a bag or something Let's go have a look here and see what that could be. Oh no, it's coming Absolutely. I hope I've got it. There's still something on the end of the magnet. As I retrieve the magnet now from the snow from the waters, let's see what comes up. And it is a polo ski. Have a look at that pole. Pretty cool, pretty heavy, actually got some weight to that thing. like a, a treble hook, a little spring over there, and a piece of what I'll say rebar. Okay guys, so we have the PSNR on their way to collect the ammunition we found earlier in the video, but there's something heavy on this rope here. I haven't seen it as yet, so I'm going to retrieve it. I'm actually playing with the rope now because I can actually just feel the weight on it. So that's a good thing, you can always feel that there's something on you, don't know what it is. Okay, okay, I see you. This looks like to a pot of something maybe. Actually it could be an old gym cast iron weight. I'm not too sure but it could be corrected. It could be a wheel of some sort. But there you have it guys, look at that. Got a little wee hole over there. I'm running my magnet along the docks here. And it feels like we have a few things on here now. If I pull it up nice and slow and flip the magnet, we've got. Oh, I've wanted a nail clip as my nails are getting so long and I can finally clean this up. And um, that's me. It's a spring over there. There's another 2p coin. So we've got 5p. We still don't have enough for loaf of bread. Got a six inch nail there, but I'm so happy about this nail clipper. At least I can cut my nail clip my nails now when I get home after the shower. So that's that's really cool. Well guys, that's a wrap for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video, share the video. I really appreciate every single one of you for all your subscriptions and like I said before I'm going to be holding a raffle later on this year to win a magnet and I will get you I'll put a little link at the bottom to get you guys informed at, at a later stage but until then guys over and out from myself Travis HT Magneteers Yeep!